Here we go again. Right now, another dangerous hurricane threatens the Gulf Coast. And it's a big one. We want to show you Hurricane Milton. It exploded today into a powerful Category 5 storm. And this is what it looks like from the International Space Station. It is expected to make landfall on Wednesday in a part of western Florida that's still reeling from Hurricane Helene. This is an all too familiar site. The Tampa Bay area, once again, a site of a sandbag station. There are currently mandatory evacuation orders that are just up and down the Florida coast. Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon is in the Weather Center with new information just in on Milton's track and Albert, it's massive. Mm -hmm. So there are only two other hurricanes on record for the Atlantic Basin that have strengthened this fast. What Milton did today, yesterday morning it was a tropical storm, this morning it was a Cat 2, and now it's a Category 5, a strong Category 5, winds of 180 miles per hour as it's moving off towards the east at 10 miles per hour. So this is the northern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. There are already flash flood concerns ongoing in Florida tonight, not associated with Milton, but there's actually a front stretch right in here that's steering Milton to the east now, and it will eventually steer Milton back up towards the east northeast as we head towards your Thursday, Wednesday into Thursday. So this is a look at the latest projection from the Hurricane Center. We have it moving inland near Tampa, if not right on top of Tampa, Wednesday night as a strong hurricane. Could be a three, could be a four, but there could be significant impacts from this hurricane, not just from rain and wind. There are hurricane warnings in effect, but devastating storm surge, potential for storm surge in Tampa Bay, 10 to 15 feet.